Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> five ways to game better. Number five, have fun with your friends. We match, finally. That's right, finally we're at, we're at the final bit. <laughs> it's beautiful. <clears throat> Look, this one is about fun with friends. Just remember, the most important thing is you're playing a game with your friends. <laughs> However you want to play, whatever rules you want to obey, whatever rules you want to change, whatever topics should be avoided, whatever style of play is the funnest for everyone, yeah. just go with it. Discuss the sessions after them, work out what didn't work, yeah. and just don't do that anymore. Even better, work out what did work really, really well and do more of that. Yeah, it's an iterative process, right? So mm. you find out what's good, Keep that. Find out what doesn't work and discard that. Mm. So it's a it's a really a really important thing. And you know we see a lot of people all the time. Finding five people to get together on one night of the week is really hard. And it's you know it's maybe sometimes not the people who you would mm. ideally like to spend your free time with. Mm. And you kind of muddle through it, but it's not fun. And they're dealing with issues that you don't like. And you know, there are some times where you kind of need to step away from the table and mm. you kind of need to go, okay, this this mix is just not right. In, like in any social situation, it can be really tough to kind of deal with those sort of issues. But yeah, it's interesting. It's like a it's like a party. You've gathered together in a group of five people at a party you've randomly met and you yeah. push together into a situation. Except in a role playing game, you need to be more exposed and and more vulnerable because yeah. you're having to to uh, hopefully tell intense stories of emotionality. And like at a party, if if five people get together and there's one person who just gets up your nose for some reason, then you know they're not really the person you're gonna stay keep playing with, keep playing with, keep playing yeah. with. So so make that judgment. Do Murray you? ticks me off. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I love you, Murray. <laughs> this could go wrong so quickly. <laughs> Do make sure, however, that it's not uh, one of your own habits that, that's being unfair mm. or, or uh, excluding of someone. Um, you know, work through relationships. Do some do some self observance and some discussion, and and uh, yeah, you can work together and grow together as people. Yeah, yeah. I'm just playing my character is sometimes not the greatest excuse for for <laughs> why right. you've done whatever you've done to that's the party. Right. So yeah, yeah. Yep. Have fun with your friends. That's what it's ultimately all about. And uh, yeah, re resolve issues as quickly as you can and as fun as you can. Have a laugh. If if someone likes to cheat. There's occasionally cheese going on There's, at our table. Yes, sometimes. Decide whether it really matters. You know, oh, I, would, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> so decide what's important to you, and and what's important to you is is uh, not respecting the game, not obeying every single rule, yep. not playing with someone else's uh, uh, dice. Dice. Not, dice at all. <laughs> <laughs> not touching my dice. Uh, yeah, like have fun the way you want to have fun, and then no one can criticize you. Yeah. This has been five ways to improve your gaming table, a la the dice stormers. And I feel so enriched. Me too. Bye. Bye.